What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another video. My name is Miles with Holiday World out of Dallas, Texas. And behind me, I have a 2022 Keystone Springdale 293RK. This is probably Springdale's most popular floor plan layout. Definitely gets a lot of attention, and it's been a while since I've had one, so really excited to see that. If you didn't know, I got married on July 7th, so I am now married. Definitely very excited about that, and I was gone for, I mean, well, it felt like forever. I was gone for a long time, since before July 7th, and now, you know, it's I don't know exactly what day this will be uploaded, but I've been gone for a minute. And so Wayne got married, then went on our honeymoon um, just north of the Cancun area. So lots of really exciting stuff. I don't know if I'll have the videos of some of that stuff uploaded prior to uploading this video, but I am making a video of our whole honeymoon experience and what that looked like up in Cancun. We stayed in a resort called Beloved Playa Mujeres, which was just absolutely beautiful. Did all kinds of stuff out there. So if I have the video uploaded already, it should be popping up in the corner of the screen there, or it'll be down below in the description as well for the link for that. But look forward to that, and that's something that'll be really cool that I'm excited to put together and just show kind of what our honeymoon experience was. And really, it's just something I made for our own memories of the honeymoon. But anyways, just wanted to let y'all know I uh, had been gone for a minute, and hopefully as I go through this video, I will still remember things about RVs and remember how to talk about RVs properly because it's been over a week since I've talked about an RV in general to anybody. So pretty excited to be back, and let's get into this video. Hey, welcome back to another video. If this is your first time tuning into one of my videos, I'm super excited that you're here. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy. And if you do get something out of this video, consider hitting the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. If you would like to connect with me on other social media platforms, links to my Instagram, TikTok, and Facebook are down below in the description where you can find other RV-related content that I upload regularly. And then finally, if you are interested in this RV, keep in mind I am in a sales position. I do not get paid by my company to come out here and make these videos. I just do this on my own own time in hopes of finding people like you that might be interested in this RV. So I would love to personally assist you in helping you make this RV yours. So you can either text me at the number on the screen there or there is a link down below in the description that you can fill out with some basic information that will help me best help you. So go down there and fill out that information if you are interested in this RV and let's get into the video. All right, y'all. So again, this is a 2022 Keystone Springdale 293RK. This is a great travel trailer, especially for couples maybe that bring some other friends along with them that maybe don't sleep inside the RV, although you do have a sofa that will make into a bed and a dinette table that will make into a bed. It's definitely more fit for couples, but definitely like an entertaining couple, a couple that likes to entertain inside their RV. So if you have people that like to come hang out inside the RV, there is tons of room in here. You see you have a giant campsite window as well. So lots of great stuff going on with it. You'll see the specs up here on the screen as well as the floor plan layout. And then I'm gonna go over to the other sticker over here and get the exact specs. It is right at 33 and a half feet long, so 33 feet, six inches. And the unloaded vehicle weight here is 7,110 pounds. You have a cargo carrying capacity of 1,216 pounds. And so your overall gross vehicle weight rating is gonna be 8,800 pounds. So definitely comfortable to tow with any three quarter ton truck, anything like a 250 or 2500. And then there are gonna be some of your uh, more modern half ton trucks that may have the capability to be able to tow something like this as well. Um, you know, if you have one of those half ton trucks that has an 11 to 12,000 pound towing capacity and you have plenty of payload capacity to handle the hitch weight, then you'll be good to go. But definitely safe with the three quarter ton for sure. So you have a nice big full um, not full profile front cap. Gosh, I was already just blending all the terminologies of different RVs from the get go. I knew it was going to be a struggle. But anyways, this is going to be an aluminum sided RV. So aluminum siding all throughout here an aluminum front cap here. Then you have this rock guard right here as well. With an aluminum sided RV, you're getting a wooden framing. So you can see the wooden framing all underneath here. A nice big pass through storage compartment here as well with a light that you just push to turn on. But a nice big storage compartment there. You do have a little clip here that holds the door in place. So I like that you have that instead of like a little plastic clip that would come over the door that is very easy to just break off or whatever it may be. And then you'll have your clips there to hold that closed. And as you come along this side, you're going to have your um, electric stabilizers underneath here. Gosh, I can already tell. It might be a bit of a struggle. Just hang with me, y'all. I'll get the words right. I almost said auto leveling, but this is not auto leveling. This is electric stabilizers. But you can see your electric stabilizers underneath here. You have the controls right next to the stabilizer, which I like because sometimes you get the controls for those like in the pass-through storage compartment. 
where you can't even see them actually going down from where the switch is at. So I like that it's right there. You will have a fully enclosed underbelly underneath here. So all your water tanks and water lines will be sitting above the insulation in that underbelly. So whenever you have the furnace running, the heat duct is running through that same cavity above the insulation. So you will have heat going to that area where your water tanks and water lines are to keep them warm in cooler climates. You have the awning out front here. The awning does have an LED light strip on it. It is a powered awning. That LED light strip, whether the awning is in or out, you can use it. So it'll light up that whole space. In the nighttime especially, it really illuminates this whole area outside of your RV. And then this will come out to about right here. It would probably cover that slide out if I pushed it all the way out there. So definitely plenty of space there to cover your outside entertainment area. And then you have the solid steps here. These are the Moride steps. And my favorite thing about the Moride steps are they have these little tabs here to adjust the legs. So all I have to do is push this tab up and that, well, I have to open the door up so I can actually move that step up and down. But all you have to do is push this tab up and that will allow you to adjust the leg length there as opposed to having to pull a pin out, which I think is just much more of a hassle. So I really like that they have those steps on them. You get the solid steps that make contact with the ground. And then coming over here, you do have a mount for a TV. So if you wanted to put a TV out here, you can put a TV on that spot. You're going to have your outlets right there. And then you'll have a satellite connection if you did want to hook up a satellite, but can put a TV out there. And then you're going to have just a standard leaf spring suspension for your suspension system. Again, huge window here that will allow you to see out into your campsite, which you will love when we get inside the RV. And then you have your speakers outside as well over this area, so outdoor speakers. And then back here, you even get a little mini refrigerator outside. So they found room for this underneath the rear kitchen of this layout. So you do have an outdoor uh, refrigerator as well. Then your rear bumper, you do have storage that goes through here. You can see they have these taped closed, but these end caps will come off so you can store things like sewer hoses and whatnot in that area there. It's so weird to put my hand in the video and I have like a whole wedding ring on now. So definitely weird to see that as I'm looking at the screen recording, but it's pretty cool. Definitely enjoying having a ring on that finger now. Um, you have a spray port right here so you can hook up a coil hose to that or any kind of spray port connection there to have an outdoor water source. And then this, this is a tank flush valve. So this will flush out your black tank when you hook a hose up to that to send pressurized water through there. You have a spare tire on the back side here, and then you're going to have your camera prep system there as well. So it is prep for a backup camera if you want to install a backup camera. And then this is your vent outside of the kitchen above the microwave to vent out any smells while you're cooking or anything like that. And again, you have your switch right here, right next to these uh, stabilizer legs to make those go up and down so you can see exactly when they make contact with the ground. We we're parked a little too close to the fence on that side, so we're gonna go around this way. And as we go around the front, you're gonna have a battery compartment here, space for up to two batteries, which is pretty neat. Um, it's only gonna come with one from the dealership, so we supply you with one for free, but you can get an additional battery there, have more battery power to make sure everything running off the battery system is operating properly and everything like that. And then you have two 20 pound propane bottles, a power tongue jack up here as well. So this is power to make this tongue jack go up and down. And then coming around to this side, you can see you have your slide out on this wall. So just one slide out on the RV. And then I'm gonna get up on these steps and you can see you have two ACs on the roof and a 200 watt solar panel. So you're going to have the two ACs in there, definitely needed in Texas. It's actually supposed to be 108 degrees the next two days, which is just absolutely insane. So definitely need two ACs in Texas and you'll have the 200 watt solar panel there to help keep your batteries charged so that you're never losing supply of your 12 volt system that the batteries will power. Water connections out here, so fresh water connection, this will fill your fresh water tank and then you'll have your city water connection there. If you're at a campsite that has a water connection, you can just plug it right into there and have constant pressurized water going through there. On this side of the pass-through storage compartment, you're going to have your inverter or sorry, your inverter prep and your solar charge controller. So the solar charge controller is going to be working with the solar panel to monitor the charge of your batteries. It'll give you all kinds of information like how much power the solar panels are pulling, um, how long till your batteries are charged, the health of your batteries, stuff like that. And then the inverter prep is if you wanted to add an inverter to this RV and expand upon the solar system, you can then start getting power to some of your outlets that are inverted in the RV from the solar system. So basically adding that inverter would allow the battery power, your 12 volt power here to be inverted to 110 to then power your outlets inside the RV as well. 
And then for your dump stations underneath here, you have your black and gray tank dump valves here. This is gonna be for the bathroom that is located right in this area of the travel trailer. So you'll have your black and gray tank dump valves there, and then there should be a gray tank dump somewhere back in this area. Yep, gray tank right there for the kitchen. And then finally, your 50 amp power connection there as well. And that is just about everything on the outside. So let's walk back around and get to the inside. So we come around this way here. You're really gonna love this floor plan. This is one of, like I said, I mean, it's, it's my favorite Springdale floor plan that I've seen. Um, just, it's just such a practical layout. So again, it's a 293 RK. You can see the 200 watt solar flex package that it comes with there. You have your screen door coming inside, so that will close like so. Lots of different accessories you can get for these if you need it. Um, they have like a screen defender here that's like a metal gate that covers this to protect your screen. Um, they also have the slingshot system that connects to right here that allows this door to close on its own when you disconnect it. Different things like that. So those are different accessories you can get that are all from Lippert because this is a Lippert door and Lippert makes other components like that. And as you walk inside, look at how much room is in here. So much floor space, such a great design, definitely a very popular travel trailer, travel trailer layout in general, not just from Springdale, but from multiple different brands. And I love that Springdale gives you the barreled ceiling, so you get a much taller ceiling height. I'm about 6'2", and I have at least a good six inches to the ceiling, so tons of ceiling height in here. Really large kitchen countertop space as well, with having this rear kitchen. Um, rear kitchens are one of my favorite layouts just because of how much space they allow, not only in the kitchen, but then all your floor space as well. Um, some people don't like having their kitchen on the back wall, which I understand because it is a little bit more weight at the back of the RV, but I definitely love the layout that you get when you have these rear kitchens. Both of these recliners are going to be movable, so you can move these around however you want. They're freestanding. You can see the straps that are there on the floor that are going to hold those in place while you're in transit. But these you can move around however you best see fit. So they are not um, set into the ground or screwed into the ground or anything like that. And then look at this huge window. I hate that we have another RV parked so close to us, but you have a giant window that's going to allow you to see out into your campsite. That is something my family, we have never had on our RV is a lot of campsite windows or big campsite windows. So I always recognize it because that is like the one thing that sometimes I wish we had. And then you have another big one here in the kitchen as well. So really practical space it also comes with a big tv and a fireplace so the fireplace is great because this is going to be an electric heat source for you so you do not have to run the propane to get heat out of this fireplace that's going to run off the electric system so you will have that there and i love that it comes with that on these springdales because there's a lot of different brands that won't have something like that in this price point which we'll get to price in a second you're going to have storage on this side and then same identical storage on this side here You'll have your speaker system here as well. And then love that they use the LED light here above the slide out as well, just giving you a little bit different light color from the puck lights that you have up on the ceiling and whatnot. Also have a spot for a Wi-Fi router. So if you need to connect a Wi-Fi router, you can install that right there to have Wi-Fi. Could easily see people living in a model like this. And I'll explain why more so than just this living area, but also when we get back to the bedroom, why I think it's a great option for full-time living as well. Then you'll have your sofa here. This is a um, jackknife sofa. So you lift it up like this. First of all, plenty of storage underneath there. But then this can fold flat. So if you do have guests that decide to stay over or if you just walk in here and you wanna lay down and not go back to the bed, very easy to make that into a bed. Literally, you can do it with one hand. And hopefully I can get it back up with one hand. Oh, actually, I'm dumb. Start right, start on the front end and then grab it from the back. There you go, okay. Get that back to a sofa nice and easy. And then you also have the freestanding table. So like this, because this table is not set in place either. You can move this around however you best see fit. You can slide this out into the middle of the floor here. Um, you can put it wherever you want, really. And it will collapse down. You can see the different hinges there and whatnot to allow that to collapse down to sit right above this area here and make into a bed. So you can take these back cushions here, set them on top of the table when it's laid down. And this also makes into a bed there as well. Big windows all along this wall. So overall, I mean, just insane the amount of windows in this living space. 
I mean, it is so bright in here. This is one of the few travel trailers where I probably didn't even need to turn the lights on for this video because it's just so bright in here. And as we come back to the kitchen, actually, let me stay with the dinette table real quick because you do have storage underneath here. So let me show you that. You do have your storage that you can access from the top up here. So that'll be on both sides. And then going to the kitchen area, we'll look at some of the different storage in the kitchen. First of all, you're gonna have the two pull-out drawers. So those will both be the same size drawers there. Huge countertop on this side. Another big pull-out drawer right there. Lots of space down underneath here. It's actually a really big apartment underneath there. I thought that might be obstructed in the middle, but it is all open. And then this is a nice open area right there. And then this looks like this goes, yep, goes all the way through to the other side. And this is all just open storage all along this top area. Tons of space in this kitchen. As we look at the price, the MSRP on this one with the second AC unit and some other additional options is uh, 51760. So that's the MSRP. Um, our sales price on it right now is 38,733. So 38,733 is the sales price on it. I am in a sales position. So if you are interested in this RV, I would love to personally help you out in assisting you in making this RV yours, whether you want to set up a time to come take a look at it in person. I am at the Holiday World of Mesquite location, which is just outside of Dallas. So technically in Mesquite, Texas, but just outside of Dallas, Texas. And then we also have six other, or sorry, five other locations, six locations in total, where you could get this from any one of our six locations. So if you want to come work with me directly, I am at the Mesquite location and you can go down into the inquiry link down below. You will see in the description, when you open up the description down below, there is an inquiry link that you can fill out, select the Mesquite location, and that will come to me directly so I can get in touch with you and get you all the information that you need to help you make this RV yours. Or if you want to go to one of our other locations, then you can do the same thing and just select any of our other locations across Texas or New Mexico. And they will know that you came from seeing my videos when you use that link down below there. So, and if for some reason you're watching this at home or whatever it may be, it's on the TV and you can't get down to the description, my number should be up on the screen there as well where you can text me and I can get you all the information. But that is the price. Again, it's right around 38,000. Um, so great price for the amount of size of RV that you get. I mean, just so much room in here. And then we'll keep going around the kitchen, just finish up this area. Over here, you have your three burner stove. This is a Greystone stove and oven. Open this up and you have your oven in there. Pretty standard size RV oven. You have your vent fan outside of the RV and then a Greystone microwave as well. Pretty standard size RV microwave, nothing too large there. Going to have a nice big refrigerator. This is a 12 volt refrigerator, which we've seen in pretty much all the 2022 RVs where this is gonna be about 11 to 12 cubic feet here. So lots of space, no propane coils in there cause it runs off the 12 volt system. Having the two batteries and the solar panel definitely going to help keep this cool. Make sure you don't ever run out of that power. And what's great about these 12 volt refrigerators is how quickly they cool down. I've only had this RV plugged in to the battery box for maybe 20 minutes and can already feel how much cooler it is in there than outside of the refrigerator. And it's only been 20 minutes, so. Definitely cools down very quickly. Open this up and you have a nice deep pantry space. So lots of pantry storage there. And you have another shelf back here as well. So not only does the rear kitchen give you a lot of countertop space, but also gives you a ton of storage space as well. And then before we head back to the bathroom, just wanna talk about how you have the blade AC vents. So these will push air out in a 360 degree motion gonna give you significantly more air coverage as that comes out of there, which will help cool down your RV quicker than like a directional vent. And then you have all of your heat ducting running through the floor. So that is going to allow all that heat ducting to run in the same cavity as your water lines and water tanks and also send it just through a straight line so you get the most efficient heating system possible. Have a nice little tabletop space there. You can also see you have an outlet back there as well. I did realize I forgot to go over the outlets in the kitchen because I know that's important but you have an inverted outlet here as well. If you added that inverter, you'll get power to that outlet. Outlet here also. And looks like those are, yep, those are the two outlets 
in your kitchen area. Don't see any other ones up there. You also have USB ports here next to the dinette booth so that you can charge your phone and whatnot while you're sitting there. And I believe that's just about everything. Sorry, I'm wiping my face here because it's so hot and definitely already sweating. But last thing I want to talk about before we go to the bathroom, underneath here, you have a Dynaspan subflooring. So underneath this flooring here, you have the Dynaspan subflooring. What's really cool about that is although this is Keystone's like entry level travel trailer, same subflooring they use in their $100,000 plus Montana fifth wheels that have been the number one selling luxury fifth wheel for the past 20 plus years in a row. So they use the same flooring in here. It is a single piece flooring. There's no seams in it anywhere. So while you're walking around, you're not gonna feel over the lifespan of having your RV, these different seams that start popping up or you see them through the flooring there where the seams are at. It's all one piece, marine grade. So it's gonna be, it's gonna have a water resistance to it that is going to make water beat up on it if water is to ever get exposed to it. Hopefully it never does, but definitely a great flooring and comes with a 25 year warranty on that. And then, in the relation to the flooring underneath your carpet here, you also have a fully wrapped sub flooring here underneath your slide out as well. Lots of brands, especially in this price point, you lift up the carpet here and you're just gonna see exposed wood, but they actually wrap the sub flooring underneath there. So going to the bathroom, first of all, I like that they gave you a white um, fire extinguisher instead of a red one, definitely doesn't stand out so much. So not a um, you know eyesore to look at. And then going to the bathroom, you're going to have a plastic toilet in here, a good size shower. The uh, barreled ceiling height also adds to the height in here as well, giving you a taller shower. You'll have your sink there with a black faucet. Let's see which way this medicine cabinet opens. There we go. Open up your medicine cabinet, it has a magnet latch on it. And then you'll have your storage underneath here. Now with these Springdales, they definitely come pretty blend in the bathroom so i would definitely suggest like adding you know some towel racks here or whatever it may be just to make this place look a little bit more lively in here but the shower is a great size the sink or the tub sorry dips down just a little bit so you have probably about eight to ten inches of depth there in the tub and when you step in plenty of ceiling height actually this uh yeah the shower head even this sits fully above my head so that sits at about you know, a little over the peak of my forehead. And then the ceiling height in here, even all the way to the shortest part, is probably about 6'3". And then you have easily up to like 6'6 six, six in the skylight to fit in that shower. So lots of space in there. Definitely a very spacious feeling shower. And then it is you know, a pretty standard shower curtain here. So you can put whatever you want in that if you want to change that out. And then moving to the bedroom. You're gonna have a queen size bed in here. Definitely a nice look with the color scheme. Love the black um, design here with the dark gray and then you have this tan wood. Definitely love that contrast. Queen size bed. Going to have storage all through here. Same on that side, a two tiered shelf system. You also have storage underneath the bed. Nice big storage compartment under there. But what I really like for full-time living, first of all, you have the second AC in here. So this is gonna be huge for um, living in Texas. But also, you have an additional closet here. So there's a whole nother closet back in this area where you can hang more clothes and even put some shelving in as well if you wanted to. So this is going to be awesome for people looking to live in an RV full-time or if you just do extended camping. So much more wardrobe storage space and then both these doors just slide one way and the other to close those up and to close that door. So really practical bedroom space. You have inverted outlets on both sides of the bed. So one on that side and one on that side there. And same storage on this side. Also have a spot for a TV on the wall here. So if you wanted to hook up a TV, it would go right there. And plenty of ceiling height in here to feel comfortable. Room to walk around the bed all the way around. As you can see, I've been walking around the whole bed. And I think just having that extra wardrobe space is such a big deal for, especially someone looking to live in the RV full time. So, but that is just about everything. We'll come back out here, all your controls right when you walk in for your um, lights, your water heater, your awning, your slide out, things like that. And that's pretty much it. 
All right, y'all, appreciate you watching. If you like this video, hit the like button down below and definitely hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if you are interested in this RV, I would love to personally assist you in helping you out and making this RV yours. So you can go down to the inquiry link down below. Again, I am in the Mesquite location, which is just outside of Dallas, Texas. And if you select that location when you go down through the inquiry link down below, I will get your information there directly to contact you and get you all the information that you need. Or we have five other stores around Texas and New Mexico. So if one of the other stores is more convenient for you, you can use that link down below, select the most convenient location for you. Any one of them can sell you this RV and they will know that you came from seeing my videos when you go through that link there. So that's all I got for y'all. My number will also be up on the screen. If for some reason you can't get down into the description, I would love to help you out in making this RV yours and getting you out doing what you want to do with it. So reach out to me and I would love to help you. That's all I got for y'all. Till next time, I'll see y'all camping.